वेलकम टू द स्पेशल एडिशन ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट सीरीज रीजनल मेंटोर इंटरव्यू बाय विनोद तिवारी वेयर यू विल डिस्कवर ट्रू मोटिवेशनल स्टोरीज ऑफ इंडिया टू रिप्रेजेंट थर्टी फोर स्टेट एंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ इंडिया देर इज ओनली नाइन्टी रीजनल मेंटोर ऑफ चेंज एंड अराउंड फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस मेंटोर ऑफ चेंज हु आर एसोसिएटेड विद द फ्लैगशिप इनिशियटिव ऑफ अटल टिंकरिंग लैब बाय अटल इनोवेशन मिशन Niti Aayog These intellectuals and experts have been selected for mentoring to 7200 schools across India where approx 5 million students are benefited directly with a vision to cultivate 1 million children in India as nurturing innovators Mr Vinod the host of the show is also a regional mentor of change for Gujarat state a best selling author international speaker engineering director an influencer solar expert awardee a strategic thinker and has been referred to as a magician of words he is truly a professor of success principles from the university of life in this podcast he is going to interview one of the important regional mentors to learn about his journey accomplishments and atl success till date it would be definitely quite informative and motivating for all of us enjoy and you can thank us later hello and namaste and good evening i'm honored to welcome each one of you to the one and only podcast show for students from all over india who are associated with atal thinking lab and those who wish to get engaged with the flagship initiative by atal innovation mission niti ayog Welcome to the special edition of the podcast series Regional Mentor Interview by Vinod Tiwari where you will discover true motivational stories of India This episode is sponsored by rkswealth.com a fastest growing company promises to be your partner into the journey of financial freedom So you might be thinking that who are the regional mentors and who are the mentor of change let me just explain to maximize the input of the atal tinkering lab mentor of change program is envisaged to be the largest formal volunteer network in india mentor of change is aimed at engaging leaders industry community professionals brilliant technocrats entrepreneurs who can guide and mentor young students in these labs for their neighboring schools to be as a role model for young innovators after competitive rounds of the selections and reviews top mentors from all over india has been identified and selected to take extra responsibility of their respective states So approximately 91 regional mentor of change has been selected in two batches from existence of 5000 plus mentor of change across the nation. So we are going to interview all of the regional mentor of change on a alphabetical basis and batch wise. So here in this episode I would like to invite Miss Anuja Chinaikar Sabnis. who is a regional mentor of change from the state of Karnataka you welcome Ms Anuja to the podcast and here is my first question to you can you please brief about yourself and your achievements so far till december 2021 namaskar and hello to all the tinkerers my name is anuja tinaikar sabnis i am a passionate engineer who wants to develop engineering mindset in the minds of people around me hello vinod sir This is the best initiative taken to share the ideas of many mentors on the audio platform. Tinkering mindset. It is to develop analyzing capacity or attempt to repair or improve something in society and overcome a difficulty. According to the question, one habit I had of reading newspaper. I still do have it. where i saw that 7000 schools were funded and 2 million students have access to atal tinkering labs this fascinated me i searched more about incubation and innovation into google 
I visited the nearby incubation center which was 2 hours away from our place. Sandbox in Hubli. There I met many mentors and discussed this. During my engineering, to my surprise, I saw a 3D printer with 180 students in the class. I could see it from far off. And now, children get them at school level. I found it as a joke. But then, after visiting 2-3 labs at Bangalore, I found that children are blessed with it. I came to my hometown and searched the schools in Belgaum. I found a school who had just received the grant and are about to develop the lab, Balika Adarsh Vidyalay, the first Marathi medium high school to receive the ATM. From start, in 2017 inauguration to execution, I started spending time with the girls at the school. All of them had some or the other ideas because they all were from the working class family. But funding the ideas was difficult into a small town. So, to move from a town to city to understand the working of innovation. Through the mentors in the schools, I got a job as operations executive in Technology Business Incubator which was funded by DST. Here, I visited 12 schools in Maharashtra, studied the working of ATL and made an ecosystem analysis and prepared an ATL calendar. From some years, I was fascinated by a cartoon called Doraemon. I started imitating voices and now I am a voice artist. I started attracting the children. Now, Pita, if you have not homework, then I will not give you my gadget. This voice always attracted me and I used to see the new gadget and would try to prepare it at the adult tinkering labs. All the students used to get attracted with this voice and used to come and prepare the gadget with me. If you make the students do something, they will not. But if they are left into the ecosystem and attracted towards, then they will be able to do something through their ideas and successfully educate themselves into that field. When I started practicing such voices, I got to know that voice also has a lot of value. Yes, so children, always keep your passion apart from your studies. You have to have a hobby to keep yourself active the whole day. During lockdown, I took an initiative online. Make it yourself. Here, five students made drones during the lockdown in Mumbai and helped the grandparents to get their medicines through the windows during lockdown. I taught Ordino and Raspberry Pi programs to achieve some experimental aims. We made a digital clock using programming and also easy games using programming techniques. We also gifted them books of APJ Sir, Ratan Tata, Sudha Murthy, which will inspire them to make many good things in all difficulties also. Parents were completely engrossed in online work. Children used to get bored, so we took an elocution contest of who exactly is an entrepreneur. Communication contest. Meanwhile, from a lab in charge, I became a mentor of change. With so much of work and experience, I got a beautiful opportunity to become a regional mentor. Wow, that's great to know more about your journey from operation executive to lab in charge to mentor of change and finally to regional mentor of change of Karnataka. And it's really appreciable of your contribution for helping students to make the drone for their grandparents to get their medicine from the window. Wonderful. And would like to say thank you to Doraemon who inspired you to become the boys artist. <laughs> Wonderful voice. So guys, many of you would be thinking that what exactly is the ATL? i just brief about it. It is one of the aggressive initiative by our Prime Minister of India to establish innovative workplace in high schools based on the global living lab models, allowing a regular exchange of innovative ideas between the schools, teachers, expert mentors, Niti Aayog team, you know, parents and other relevant stakeholders. So the objective of this scheme is to foster curiosity, creativity and imagination in young minds and inculcate 
skills such as design mindset computational thinking adaptive learning to empower critical thinking communication and problem solving so as on today there are approximately 7200 atal thinking labs which has been successfully established across india and out of which 70% of them are either in the government schools or government aided schools including girls or co-ed schools so hope you got a brief understanding about the atal thinking lab Okay, so here we go for the second question, Ms. Anuja. We would like to understand that why did you got influenced to join the flagship initiative of Atal Tinkering Lab? ATL is such a movement that it tells we are not only developing but progressing towards tall heights than other countries. Children are our future, and yes, teaching them changing the world is more important than teaching them heavy subjects. For this all engineers should come together. I made a small plan for all the tinkerers to do many things throughout the week because they won't get some time. So a bit of time made for tinkering lab on Monday was man ki baat day. Write and mail your mentor of ro- what wrong you see in the society and how you would change it. And Tuesday talk to one entrepreneur. talk to one person who has his own factory um where people where many people work then wednesday was warm up program skills where they used to learn a lot of programming skills together thursday was technology search uh, every thursday you should learn about new technologies friday was fun with industry some people would go to school and see the management some would uh, go to the bank and see the management some would go to the hospital and see the management how it happens exactly then uh, saturday was settlement with nature one place on a half day or a holiday with family uh, will give you a lot of energy they say so one saturday a nature place where you understand many things then sunday was learn about green revolution then i used to take an online session of solar then we used to talk about green energy as a mentor i tell everybody of my life there is a person almighty god who is tinkering with our life yes like i shall tell you the turning point of my life and you will learn many things i got married during lockdown in 2020 and 21 we were blessed with a baby son there we got to know that the best engineer is god all was going good and suddenly 2021 My husband met with a severe accident. He died on 27th of January 2022. His spine was fractured and body had no sense under neck. Doctors tried hard to save him, but it was very difficult. Here, you understand that life is all about learning and achieving every movement. We don't know what will happen to us and when, so relish and learn every moment. Yes Miss Anuja what you said is correct the god is tinkering with all of us and we don't know what's going to happen and we all are very very sorry to hear about the bad news of your husband a sudden demise of your husband on 27th of January I know that it's not easy to make the episode and to continue the live but yes you are a very brave lady and you are accepting the real truth what cannot be changed so we'll pray to the god to give you such a strength to fight with the challenges in the life and you know everything is going to be fine after some time and yes your creativity for monday to sunday is amazing monday is man ki baat with mentor tuesday is talking to the entrepreneur wednesday is wisdom fantastic Well, I'm so excited to tell you that the project, which was initially started like as a pilot project, has become one of the biggest and successful project of the country, Atal Tinkering Lab. And you know, till today, around 1.1 lakh innovative projects has been created for social and cross-cultural collaborations, ethical leadership, and to help in building innovative solutions for India's unique problems. Well, in order to foster inventiveness among students, Atal Tinkering Lab do conduct 
different activities ranging from regional level, national level and school level competitions and exhibitions or workshops. So you will agree that today we stand on the brink of a technological revolution which will certainly alter the way we think, we live, we work, we shop, we eat, whatever we do. And this is called Industrial Revolution 4.0 which is a digital fusion actually of technologies such as artificial intelligence, robotics, the internet of things, autopilot vehicles, 3D printing, nanotechnology, material science, biotechnology, quantum computing, you name it, there are so many. So completely, it's a digital revolution 4.0. So here is third and last question to you. Can you please let us know which are those three unique skills much required by the students for industrial revolution 4.0? Every revolution is changing now. The industrial revolution will stay for a long time, they say. For changing technology, even we should keep upgrading ourselves. Never stop reading. Keep speaking to passionate people in the industry. Now that you have got access to many things, now everything is happening online. So keep on searching, keep on studying and keep a time for yourself. Keep a time for your technology. Revolution means change and apart from others, how different you are is the real revolution. You have a long, long way to go. You have to see the sun and you are on the shore. You are just a small particle of the sand, they say. So you have many people like you around you. Just make yourself hardworking in all hardships. And that is how we come through a long ladder of life. It is always said that water should keep flowing. If it stays in one puddle, it will be stagnant. The same way, keep flowing. Thank you so much to Vinod sir to give me this opportunity and speak up all things in my mind as well as heart. And all the best to all the tinkerers who are connected to Atal Tinkering Labs and if you are not, get connected soon. Happy learning, happy tinkering. Yes, I do agree that as per the predictions, the Industrial Revolution 4.0 is going to stay for a long time. And what you said is very correct, that we should be like the flowing water, which is always fresh. So, we should gain the knowledge, we should learn the knowledge, and we should be the person who is dispersing the knowledge, who is giving away also the knowledge. Knowledge is not only for us, it should not be within us, it should be flown, it should be circulated, it should be given to others as well. Happy learning and happy tinkering. So thank you Ms. Anuja for being a guest at our podcast show. During the critical time, you have taken a courage to make it happen and I'm sure that your knowledge and wisdom and your story is going to inspire and motivate millions of students across the India and across the globe. Thank you. Guys, truly I believe that this mission could not be so successful without the contribution of each and everyone. And here I would like to convey my sincere thanks to all the parents, the teachers, the mentors, IITs, IIMs, government organizations, public companies, tech giant companies, IT organization, you know, all of them have supported well. And last but not the least, the AIMT and the able leadership of Niti IO. I would like to say that this is a massive revolution and it is all happening because of the big vision of our beloved Prime Minister, Honorable Sri Narendra Modi. This is happening because of the able leadership of the Vice Chairman of Niti IO, Dr. Rajiv Kumar, the CEO of Niti IO, Sri Amitabh Kant. The Mission Director of Atal Innovation Mission, Dr. Chintan Vaishnav and Mr. Ramanan and definitely a dedicated team, Ms. Deepika, Ms. Swati Rao, Ms. Madhuri, Mr. Ronak, Ms. Naba, Ms. Varya. They are really working hard to make this happen. And finally, all the students who are really the center of attraction, who are learning and growing from innovator to entrepreneur. This episode is sponsored by 
rkswealth.com a fastest growing company promises to be your partner into the journey of financial freedom hope that you have enjoyed the session and looking forward to see you on next monday with a new personality the new regional mentor of change from different state of india till then stay safe and stay motivated have a pleasant evening goodbye appreciate your time to join this week episode we hope that you have enjoyed the knowledge and content as shared by the regional mentor of change we would like to convey our sincere thanks to niti ayog aim team and all the sponsors don't forget to subscribe follow rate and review and you can also share it with others on your social media and whatsapp groups this show is available on apple podcasts spotify google podcasts amazon music stitcher and you can choose your favorite channel join us again on next monday to meet exciting new personality from a different region of india to catch all the latest podcast from mr vinod tiwari you can follow him on instagram at i am vinod tiwari see you next monday have a pleasant evening